this ain't a complaint. This is more so an acknowledgement of the time, right? The company that I drive for, uh, and I understand, you know, because I used to drive for a couple of different owner operators before, right? They, they made it a company-wide uh, mandate not to take 76, Interstate 76 anymore in Pennsylvania because of the, uh, uh, you know, how expensive, expensive it is. Alongside, you know, 276 and, you know, 476 and the like of it, right? So, the only reason why I'm recording this right here because this is a living example of it's time to do something else. <laughs> the reason being, this is a big inconvenience. It's an understandable inconvenience, but it's still an inconvenience, right? As you can see, I'm riding through this very small town, and uh, if you've ever been to Pennsylvania, there's mountains all, this whole state almost is mountains, right? So know me being the type of person that I am it's cool right now because it's 12 35 p.m. I'm thinking about if it was late night see a car driver you don't got the same mindset as a commercial vehicle driver right uh, car driver might say hey man what's what's the big deal you just ride through the town you know I do it all the time but here's where the difference between somebody who drives a car and somebody who drives a commercial vehicle you see anywhere to stop to take a piss at? This video been running for two minutes and two seconds and counting. You see anywhere to pull over and take a leak at? How about get something to drink? How about if you get tired, you need a cup of coffee or something or a Red Bull, right? How about if you got all that stuff in your truck, but you know what I mean? You need to get it, you need to stop the truck so you can be able to get to the back so you can get your stuff together, right? You see anywhere to stop to do that stuff at? That's what I'm referring to. Uh, if this was nighttime and you're tired, there is nowhere to stop. <laughs> you gotta find you somewhere, like you know what I mean? Find you somewhere to pull over at. I'm pretty sure that there's eventually gonna be a um, uh, like a field or maybe major highway running uh, uh, running adjacent to this uh, to this route but as of right now in these three minutes and four seconds and counting there's nothing you know what I mean for a commercial driver this is a nightmare it's a nightmare you don't want to be on these type of roads uh, try to stick to the major highways if you can uh, you know there's built commercial traffic. You got places to stop at if you need to use the bathroom. And the one thing that I, I like about highways like 86, I mean, no, excuse me, 76, um, 80, and stuff like that on the toll uh, travel plazas, toll road, Indiana, Ohio, excuse me, Illinois, they got well, not in Illinois per se, but once you get into Indiana and Ohio, uh, there's plenty of places to stop at if you need to take a nap, use the bathroom, whatever. Moral of the story, uh, if you're not familiar with the area, and you got to, you know, you, your GPS telling you to reroute, go on a route or whatever. Uh, if you've never been on it before, it's probably not a good, a good idea to go down it. Uh, I've been through upstate PA, riding through these towns before. So, you know what I mean? I'm not uncomfortable. But if it was nighttime, I, I, unless I was, uh, unless I frequented the route, I wouldn't even be going this way, being honest. Look at this perfect way to end the video. <laughs>